Hairspray is like my ride or die product. It solves every problem. It's good to know because I have a lot of problems. <laughs> We're supposed to get married on June 27th of this year with like a lot of people around. Obviously it's not super safe for that to happen right now, so we're pushing it down the line. I do still wanna get legally married whenever the courts open back up here in Los Angeles. We can't really know how the pandemic is gonna play out and I think the safest thing for me to do is for me to do my own hair and makeup. I'm not really good at doing like photo ready makeup and hair even less so, I mean, come on. I get really frustrated with tutorials because something won't look right and I like can't figure out where I went wrong. I need some help. I need a lot of help. Today I am meeting with Justine Marjan. She's worked with really high profile people like the Kardashians. My hair is not nearly that fancy, but I would like it to be that fancy. Hi Justine, it is so nice to meet you. You still wanna get like legally married this year in like a nice courthouse ceremony. We still want it to be like cute and special and like feel a little fancy between the two of us. I actually eloped last summer and we still did full glam, so. I totally get it. For this first look, I want to try the 60s inspired look, which involves a really high ponytail that cascades into flipped out layers on your shoulders. If it's possible, I would love to keep like a piece or two in the front or something because that is my security blanket. It's totally possible and we will do it today. Let's start by just giving ourselves a middle part. So I use the center of the nose as a guide with a comb and then I just kind of brush it Back. So that's how you get it, like perfectly center. Okay. And just look in the mirror and be like, do I like the way this looks? Do I want more hair? So now if you have a clip, we're just gonna clip these out of the way. You know what I see a lot of people do that's really easy? You could braid them and then they're fully out of the way. We're just gonna gather our hair into a high ponytail. Seems like you have really thick hair. Okay, so I find it helpful to just start by doing half up. So I'm only working on this top part of my hair. Then we'll add the bottom section. Otherwise, it's a lot of hair to manage. I have the Tresemme Micro Mist Hairspray here. This will just help control it so the hair doesn't fall out of place. And then spray the hairspray at the nape of your neck and then we'll brush it up. The good thing about a ponytail is if you pull it smooth enough on the sides, it does lift your eyes and eyebrows a little bit, which is always nice for photos. We love a little natural Botox. Now we're just going to secure it with an elastic. Great, now we can undo this piece just so it's out of our faces. Lift up your ponytail so it's just out of the way and we're just gonna spray the whole thing with hairspray. And that's where our hair has some hold and control. We'll be using the GHD Platinum Plus Styler. It has rounded edges, so it makes it really easy to get that flip. A really light tension, because we really are only using it to get rid of frizz up here, not to straighten. And we're just gonna rotate the iron up. Rotate it like you're turning a doorknob and then drag it down as you keep rotating it. Oh, it's so cute when you do it. <laughs> yes, there we go, there we go. Yes! <laughs> just keep going around the entire head. Grab your brush and we're just gonna brush through this all the way from the top through the ends. I twist the iron away from my face all the way so my hair's wrapped around it and then I drag it down. Okay. There we go, and then drag it down. Yes, there we go, this is it. Okay. There we go, that was great. Hold your little curl up and spray it. I sent you some of this Tresemme hair smooth yes. serum and use that through the pieces in the front. Run it kind of through the ponytail on the top. Grab our little toothbrush. Okay, yes. Spray the toothbrush with hairspray right at the top and that will give a little bit more hold. You decide to do this, just trim the ends of these front. Yeah. <laughs> we want to test it out with a headband. Place it right behind our ears, shift it back. The fact that I'm even like anywhere in the ballpark, I'm just like very impressed. Once you trim these pieces, it's yeah. gonna be like so perfect. So cute. For look number two, I want to try textured hair with some kind of crown braid going along it for extra texture. Spray the Tresemme Micro Mist Hairspray and just kind of spray it everywhere and lift up your hair. And then we'll just brush that. Perfect, that looks great. About one inch above your ear, we're just going to take a diagonal section that goes all the way to the back of your head. And then twist the top piece so it's out of the way. Grab one inch section of hair that we'll be working on. We will point the iron down and then we're going to wrap the hair around the iron. 
And then I use another finger. We're just tapping, tap, tap, tap to see when it feels hot. Otherwise you don't know. And then you end up being like the girl on the Ellen show. Like, yes, <laughs> I don't want to be her. <laughs> so once it feels hot, we just release. Okay. And we have our girl. Just really use your fingers and try to separate, kind of pull them out a little. Grab a section right behind an inch of your front piece, if that makes sense. We'll just split this section into three. So now grab your front piece, the one of the side pieces, and we're going to wrap it under the middle piece okay. and just switch your position. So the front piece becomes the new middle piece. So I'm adding it to the middle. Yes, there you go. That's perfect. And then we're going to grab a chunk of hair from underneath. Oof. This is going to be like the real rough version of this. Thing. It's okay. It takes practice. Okay, I'm sensing a pattern. Yes. So we're just going to do the same thing. And you kind of want to direct the braid back towards your ear. Basically, what we're doing is creating a reverse French braid. And I have never French braided my hair. Well, you have now. Let's secure it with an elastic. What we're going to do is hold the braid. And we're just going to use our fingers and kind of pinch and pull the sides of it. Flip from the elastic so I get some slack. Place it a little bit lower than the round of your head in the back. I'm keeping it closed. I'm going to put it in my braid and I weave it in and out like this. And that way it catches enough hair. That's a good trick. Just grab a little bit more of this serum over any frizz or flyaways. Spray our toothbrush with hairspray. Even pick up the piece like this and get underneath. That way, if you have your makeup done, your hair won't stick to your face. Oh, that's a good trick. And then what I love about this too is because we pin this braid in the back. So if you do have flowers or a veil, you can just tuck it into the braid. I really like this. It feels like something that with practice, I can like actually get to look good. If you practice your braid, you can even do another one. So there's okay. options. Thank you so much, Justine. I really appreciate everything. For my makeup, I will be getting help from Drea. She actually worked with me on a shoot before. So it's kind of cool because she actually like already knows my face and kind of knows what looks good on me. Hello. Hey Nina, how are you? I'm definitely excited, possibly a little bit nervous. The worst nightmare is like seeing something like unblended in a photo or something and not realizing it in the moment. Don't worry. Got you. So I want to do something that's similar to what I wanted for my like actual big wedding. A heavier, bolder eye, less poppy lip. I love gold. Do you have all your makeup there? I do. I have a lot of stuff in front of me. Is there like a favorite palette of yours that you like love right now? I have this Moschino palette and I also have this ColourPop palette. This one has some goldy tones also. Let's do those three palettes. Do you have an eye primer? I don't. Well, it's okay. Oh. We're just going to use a concealer and just dot one dot here and one dot here. And you can actually use your ring finger to kind of buff it in. So you see that color in the middle? You're going to dip into that color and giving our lid a regular colored canvas. Take that coppery kind of orangey brick color. Really fill into our crease right here. I see that you use a lot of that middle one. Sure do. <laughs> the best thing with shimmer is simply place and slide down. Oh, look at that. That is a lot of color. So let's go in with that middle brown color around okay. like the inner and then the outer. I'm going to basically do like a check mark, almost like a C, but like a B. Yeah, no, you're good. Let's go back in with that fluffy brush, no product. Just kind of buff out the edges where you see it kind of like a little harsh. Yeah, perfect. I think it looks good. My thing with eyeliner is that I do it every day, just like in my mirror by myself. I think because you're sitting here, I'm like, ah. Honestly, you're a superhero because you're using liquid. The stakes are high and I am here doing something. Yeah, I think it looks good. So let it get into your foundation. So by basically patting it in, we're creating like more coverage. Our neck normally is a little bit lighter, so definitely want to bring it down a little bit so everything matches. How do you feel? Feel good. So now let's look into your concealers. Let's go in with the first two. I would say like a little check mark here and then kind of like filling it in a little bit more. So let's go into that bronzy color and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top of the ear and we're just gonna kind of go up. Do a little bit on the forehead and kind of just a little on the jawline. 
Do you normally use like highlight, like shimmer highlights on like your cheekbones? Oh yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna start about around this area here. Okay. It's almost like a C shape. Ooh, a little highlight be popping right below where your eyeliner and your eye like lashes meet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you place that color more towards the outer corner and then going inside and just kind of smudging the bottom a little bit. Can you remember how to do your mascara? I do. I'm gonna pulse a little. Go back and forth to the root and then lift up to have some length. Ooh, look at those eyelashes. <laughs> You want a little more neutral to your lip, correct? Yeah. I tend to like a pink. So let's do the lighter Revlon one. I think it's going to look really nice with the look that you're going for. So a little bit in the center and then using the edge of it, kind of connecting the corners. I feel like an elevated version of me. It's not dissimilar from the makeup I do, but it's just a little more oomph in it. I'm really glad that you were able to like walk me through this, looking at myself and I'm like, wow, I did this myself. So I will wipe off part of my face and then we'll do the second look. So now we're gonna try something a little adventurous. Have you ever done like a halo eye? I've tried it in the past and I couldn't quite figure it out. And I was like, well, I'm never doing that again. I'll definitely walk you into those steps. It's important still with that we prime your lid. You Using the same base color as we did before. It's going in again with more of the eggplant color. Yeah. These two. Do it. We're gonna color in the C or that B. And take that same brush and now we're gonna go in the inner corner. Don't go in all the way, kind of leave like a little bit of spacing in between. Go ahead and just put some shimmer okay. into that center of your lid. I'm just gonna take it and swipe. Nice, look at that color. It's connecting the corners a little bit, leaving that space, and then connecting the inner corner. Now we're gonna use it right in that center. When I think about my courthouse wedding, the dresses I have in mind, they're simpler than like my sari. So it's kind of nice to have a face that pops. It looks really good. You did a good job on both eyes. Thank you so much for helping me and being my guide. In terms of the hair looks, I think I really liked number one. I honestly did not think I would like it that much. I think that look has a good mix of like, yes, my hair is up, but there's still a lot of it like kind of around my face and my shoulders. I think for my makeup looks, my favorite was the first look, which was a slightly more elevated version of my kind of everyday glam. Doing it through the webcam was surprisingly easy. Anytime I try something new, I usually mess it up in some way and I'm like, well, I'm just bad, so I'm never gonna try that again. Doing it with somebody there guiding me along really helped me. I am honestly very proud of myself.